On page 17 there, it goes into more detail on the neurotransmitters. Serotonin is the one that helps us sleep. And we told you the four bones that are associated with each neurotransmitter. And then tryptophan produces more serotonin, tyrosine produces more dopamine, GABA produces GABA, and choline produces acetylcholine. And then the eight acupuncture points are there for over and under. So it helps anxiety, helps depression, helps the inability to focus or concentrate. The question is, how do you use the high and low uh, acupuncture points for each neurotransmitter? The low will show if they're under, and the high will show if they're over. If you're under, you can tap the one for high, in case of serotonin is bladder one, to produce more serotonin if it shows under. So you're, you're gonna tap the opposite one it shows. When I say show, it therapy localizes. So you have two for each one. So there's eight different acupuncture points there. It also shows the location of the eight points. It wouldn't hurt any of us to tap bladder one before bed to produce more serotonin. That, that would help us all uh, sleep better. What do you do if spleen 21 and pulling the ears does not help the sleeping? The technique of rubbing SP21 on the left and pulling the ears out, a shortcut for that, we'll, we'll probably talk about this tomorrow, but the shortcut is block out Governing vessel 26 and conception vessel 24. So that doesn't show on her. I know it showed on the past. Okay, so therefore, rubbing spleen 21 and pulling the ears out is not going to help her. So you need a different technique. Putting the glass there is a shortcut. So she didn't show that. So she needs something done um, other than spleen 21 and pulling the ears out. Okay, so we have to find something different. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the erectus abdominis. I want you to sit up. I want you to cross your, cross your arms and then don't let me push back. Now, we're gonna have you turn, and this is like the transverse. Now, put your legs down. Just for, if I push hard enough. <laughs> <He's untying. laughs> Okay, so if that muscle goes weak, that's indicative of what we call a jammed sagittal suture. And those people have narcolepsy. And a, a trick that really helps narcolepsy, if you feel yourself getting sleepy, all you gotta do is reach up here and spread the sagittal suture like that. And that will wake the person up for about 20 minutes. Now 20 minutes later, you may have to do it again. Pull the sagittal suture apart to wake Don't up. Don't do it if you're driving. <laughs> so you have to. You can do it on yourself. Oh well, yeah. Not when you're driving. <laughs> or if you steer with your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that'll strengthen the rectus abdominis muscle. It'll wake you up. And the, what's apropos here is you have trouble sleeping, so you do the opposite before bed. So before bed, you jam it on purpose and push the sagittal suture together. 
and that helps a person sleep when the SP21 and ears do not work. That's the whole point of this. Push the sagittal suture together, and that'll help the person sleep. And over the phone, you might have them do both, because you don't you don't know about muscles that you can know, they, they could they could rub their pull the ears out and push this together. Do do both of them before bed to, to help the person sleep. And I know you don't have the dark bedroom, right? Um, well, we've darkened it as best we can, and I wear a face mask, uh, oh. a sleep mask. So. I, I've been to her house and she has big, big windows in the, in the bedroom. <laughs> for sleeping purposes, the darker the better. Okay, thank you for coming up. Okay, if, if on the magnet, one of them shows, then you go to those two acupuncture points and you see which one therapy localizes. If the low therapy localizes, then you want to tap the high. And if the high one shows, then you want to tap the low one. You do the opposite. 